Hi, Mike here. I showed you in a previous video, and the link's in the description, how to calculate the difference between two dates. What that video didn't cover was how to exclude weekends, and how to exclude other non-working days, such as public holidays, or company shutdown days, or just days when the project team is unavailable. Now, knowing this can be crucial when planning a project or other event. And what if you work in a country that doesn't observe Saturday and Sunday as the weekends? Or what if, to get the work complete, everyone agrees to work on Saturdays, leaving just Sunday as the weekend? In this video, I'll show you two functions, Network Days and Network Days International. And these will calculate the number of working days or business days between two dates. If you want to follow along, you can download the demo file from the link in the description below. So here we have a project with a start date of the 1st of April and the end date of the 30th of November. If this project spanned across multiple years, that's fine. What I'm going to show you will work as well. We've also got some dates down column A. Those dates are working days as in Monday to Fridays, but they've been defined as non-working days or holidays for the purpose of this particular project. And I need to calculate the number of working days. And we're defining working days as Monday to Friday. So what I'll do is I'll go to B9 and I'll use the network days function. The first parameter is the start date, which in this case is what's in B5, then a comma, and then the second parameter is the end date, which is what's in B7, comma, and the third parameter, and this is an optional parameter if you don't have any cells or dates marked as holidays, but if you do, they must be in a range. So I've got them in A13 to A20, and they're the cells that I select. Close brackets and enter. And the value of 166 is the number of working days, the number of Monday to Fridays between those two dates, 1st of April, 30th of November, excluding the dates that I've got in column A. Now, what if you worked in a country that didn't observe Saturday and Sunday as weekends? Or what if your organisation didn't observe Saturday and Sundays as weekends? Or what if this project didn't observe Saturdays and Sundays as weekends? What if it was decided to get this project complete, only Sunday would be a non-working day? Everybody working on the project would need to work on a Saturday. So there... I can use the Network Days International function. Network Days International. Now the first two parameters are the same as the Network Days function. The start date, which is B5, comma, the end date, which is B7, comma, and then we need to choose the weekend. So it gives us a number of options here. In this example, only Sunday is being used as the weekend. So I select Sunday only. It puts in 11. And then I will define the range with the holidays. And that gives us 201. Did you find the video useful? If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you'd like to keep up to date with what I'm up to, why not sign up to my newsletter? And you can do that at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.